Hey, what is going on guys? Clash with Cree here, and today I am bringing you guys another war recap. We went off a clan, uh, off against a clan called uh, Porcelain Kings. Uh, as you can see there, 57 to 47 was the final, 96.10 uh, to 84.8. Uh, they used most of their attacks, more than us, so we'll show what they did to our bases. You can see mostly uh, struggled at the top, struggled through the middle, uh, as per usual. They got our top nines done with dips, I do believe, yeah. So they cleared all their top nines with Town Hall 10s, uh, excluding me, who absorbed two Town Hall 10 hits. But um, now we'll just take a look at uh, what we did to their bases. You can see one, two, uh, um, Delhi almost got two done, almost got one as well. Uh, just missed the eagle on the entry, and then that cost them a little bit. Uh, triple on one of their Town Hall 10s, and then nines cleared and the few eights that were in the matchmaking were cleared as well. Uh, next we will highlight our six star uh, war generals for this war. We got catcher number two with a six pack, Cree with a six pack, um, Tebow almost a six pack, Poppy almost a six pack, Ghetto Gump with a six pack there, uh, Bobby with a six pack, and that's it. So we'll hop into attacks now at this point. Uh, we are going to be looking at magic bit first. I'm actually throw, showing three of my raids this war, just just for variety's sake. Um, we have the first attack here, coming in with the Shattered Boner. Um, recently did a strategy video on this, so if you want to check that out, that would be cool. Um, but you can see Babe Dragon coming in. That's going to get the funnel done there on the bottom cannon. Uh, just a one-for-one one trade on the cannon and also fixes my golem pathing, so he's not going to stray off to the side. Uh, you can see bowlers coming in at this point to make the funnel. I noticed on the left I could almost take out that cannon with my uh, bowler. But you can see my first golem's already down, but at this point the funnel's made nicely. And bowlers are coming in. Rage spell goes down. Double poison on the CC drag. Queen will take that out shortly. Here comes the balloon finally. And miners are already coming in at the top. Tar going perfectly into that last inferno. Uh, King's still up. And the queen too. So that's perfect. Uh, queen should pick up the town hall in here in a second to secure that two star. But we're going for a fresh hit three star here. And as the miners roll in, uh, you can see they're all going to path directly into this inferno. Wizard working the side, just trying to funnel that off. Um, have three wizards trailing the one miner there. They're going to be funneling the top area there, keeping those miners in the core. And you can see still two heals in the bag and not much DPS left on this base. Uh, wizard towers are spread out, so that's perfect for us. Queen is still up. She's just working through a wall now. And uh, all the miners working their way around the base in sort of an L fashion there. Uh, working their way clockwise. Now, still have about 15 to 20 alive, and they're just shredding the rest of this base. Still one heal in the bag, and this heal is not going to be needed for this raid. As this attack wraps up here, you can see heal spell comes down in the core. Swag heal on a relatively max Town Hall 10. Next, we will go look at number 7, Power Bang. Somebody tagging Power Bang. Uh, number 7, we have me taking out DM, uh, bringing in the bow peeler here. You're going to see a queen walk coming in. That's going to grab two air or one air defense, possibly even two, um, as w coming in from the top there. There's the queen, and she is going to work in and funnel off for those P.E.K.K.A.s very nicely. Um, <coughs> sorry, guys. Um, baby dragon on the left there. And the wizard and minion are already funneling up at the top, trying to push that queen to the left, uh, or down, sorry, so she can get those air defenses there so her healers don't go down. Baby dragon on the left there, funneling quite nicely, going to take out a second layer uh, building. Goes up to the can, gets two shots on that, so nice job to the baby dragon there. Uh, and then at this point a rage spell is going to come in for the queen as she has to engage two point defenses and it will also benefit our wall breakers there. Um, you can see Baby Dragon comes in now, that's going to funnel over, uh, funnel off the lab so the queen doesn't go out and the P.E.K.K.A.s stop at the correct wall, which is in front of the gold storage there. Uh, Baby Dragon lures the CC out so queen gets a chance to reposition herself when that Baby Dragon comes out. Baby Dragon comes out first, wizards die of the poison and it's just a Valkyrie for the queen to deal with, so she takes that out with ease. Uh, all three P.E.K.K.A.s still up, bowlers up. 
and queen is up. Everything's pushing into the core now. They take out that air defense and continue moving in. Jump spell connects to the queen chamber. One hog coming in on that tank cannon on the bottom left there. And bowlers in the core. Throwing those rocks, just wrecking everything that's in that area. Queen still up, king up with his ability, and the three P.E.K.K.A.s and five bowlers are still alive. You can see just how powerful this attack is as the P.E.K.K.A.s continue to steamroll the base. Uh, two hogs still in the bag, and queen is beating a wall up at the top. P.E.K.K.A.s break out at this point with the king. Still ability in the bag. All the healers are down at this point, uh, but we do have our five bowlers up still. And the Tesla has locked on to the king. Uh, bowlers are going to throw a rock over the wall, take out that archer tower at this point, and the queen has broke, finally broken her wall and takes out the remaining air defense and expo there. Five, uh, five bowlers still up, take out that archer tower, two hogs still in the bag, waiting for that uh, last cannon and Tesla to be tanked so I can get those out with um, hogs. And then that will be the end of this raid here. You can see Pekka tanking the cannon at this uh, right now. And barbs go flying a spring trap. Still lots of barbs up from the Barb King ability too. And some archers from the Queen ability. Last two hogs come in. And with the help of the Queen and the hogs, that's it. A wrap. 90. Or uh, 3 star on this base. Next we'll go down one more. Uh, myself again taking out their number 8 dirt with a logo bowl. You can see here... Um, Relatively max Town Hall 9, just with a little bit lower heroes. And we will be wrecking this. As you can see, all air, all four air defenses are in a line. Uh, we use our Baby Dragon with our Balloon there to get this Archer Tower cleared so our uh, left Golem does not stray, as well as get a nice trade while funneling. Could have been a little bit earlier on the Balloon to save the Baby Dragon health, but um, learn for next time. You can see some Wizards coming in on the right at this point. Queen is down. Uh, three golems entering, making sure the uh, top one has the aggro of the wizard tower so that the wall breakers can get in nicely. Bowlers are coming in. You can see a nice wide funnel created. Uh, they're going right into the base there. Rage Bell coming down. Queen's going to pick that up in a second here, and that will help her to take out the defending Lava Hound. Uh, bowlers working their way into the core, and at this point, two balloons come in on the cannon, meant to target them onto the archer tower, and you're going to see that bite me. As these balloons do absolutely nothing, pops pop up, pups pop, hound pops, and pups go up to the top. Poison spell in the core to take out some of those pups that are on the king. Golem and bowler still up in the core as well. King works into the queen and takes out her, takes her out. Balloons are in at this point, and one baby dragon on the bottom will be taking out the cannon there. We'll zoom out a little bit so you guys can get the full picture of the base as balloons come in in a wall fashion on all the air defense or air targeting defenses that are remaining they go down with ease balloons uh, about 10 10 or so up still they're taking out the cannons teslas golems still up in the core and they're tanking for that tesla balloons pick that up and one swag balloon to help with that um trash ring there and the balloons are on all the high hit point buildings, which is perfect. Baby Dragon still up. Grab two def uh, wizard tower and a cannon on the bottom there. And now that'll wrap up this raid. We'll four times this one through the cleanup. And then hop into our next attack. Uh, we have a new person at the end of this video. Uh, well, old person, but he is not yet to be featured. So we will be sure to feature him for his first time here. You can see another weird base here from uh, Porcelain Kings. But Tobacco is going to take this out, no problem. You're going to see a nice queen walk in here. Doesn't even need to funnel due to the lack of buildings on the top left. And his queen is going to walk straight into that Dark Elixir drill and then that slot there. As that is the closest building for her. There she goes. Three, um, three defenses on her. So she is going to <coughs> be forced to rage. Four defenses actually. So she's forced to rage up. CC comes out and the Rage plus po Double Poison is going to take that out with incredible, uh, with no problem at all. Queen steps up to the left there and she's going to, or top there, and she's going to start working on that uh, Mortar. Next up, he will be starting his Valkyries with his Golem, I believe, from the bottom. There it is. Golem comes in. That's going to be tanking. Wizard's coming down at this point to uh, start funneling on the right side there. Uh, missed a little bit of the funnel on the left and we'll see what happens 
as the Valkyries come in with the Barb King. Uh, his queen up at the top is going to work in and take out the defending queen as well. You can see wall broke many compartments up there with only four wall breakers. Uh, one, two, three compartments opened up and the cores opened up to that queen so a massive walk is going to take out uh, the defending archer queen there. No ability needed, just takes her out like that. Bowlers go into the core with the golem as the Valkyries wrap around the base due to the late jump spell. But there's no DPS there, so the bowlers will be fine. They'll clear out everything over there. Queen is working her way into the core at this point. Taking out that air defense and some hogs come in on the archer tower there. Five hogs, they're going to path into the expo next to get rid of that as well. Nice job to Tobacco for that. Uh, heal spell comes down on the bowlers as they're tanking the Teslas, and he wants to keep those up for cleanup as well. Those bowlers help to grab the Teslas there, and he's got a couple of hogs moving into the last couple defenses. Uh, he's actually got all his hogs. He's going to drop his heal, probably have swagged it, but um, wants to make sure he does not lose any more troops, uh, which he does not. Lose a couple of the springs there. He's still got a ton of Valkyries up, Kings up, Queen ability, uh, plenty of hogs. And three bowlers still up. Awesome job to Tobacco. Absolutely crushed that base. Next, we will move down to Poppy on their number 13. Uh, pretty common base here, as you guys will see. You guys probably see this in your wars at least once a week. Uh, very common base. I believe it's called the Taylor. I don't know, no, it's not the Taylor. I don't know off the top of my head what the base is called. Uh, if you do know, please leave it in the comments. Uh, but you can see Poppycock here coming in with the EQ Shattered uh, Gobaho. And it looks like he will be bringing three Quakes and a Poison. Um, I'm sure he was concerned there when the wall did not break what happened. But uh, he has a Poison spell in his CC. guess he forgot to remove that, but um, he's going to smash this base either way. King comes in, Queen goes in, and I guess he was just trying to weaken the walls. Maybe won the poison for the CC troops. Who knows? Uh, Valkyries come in, they get through the Queen with ease. Poison goes on the CC as it flies out. Rage spell on the Valkyries and the Queen. Uh, trying to make sure that Queen can pick up the CC drag as fast as possible. She's on the dragon at this point, and it's going to go down very quickly. Uh, Valkyries in the core, and the King is there as well. Tanking on the left side, so he opts to get um, 5... Five to six hogs coming in there. They're going to path from that archer tower into the wizard tower. You can see Expo focused on uh, the attacking Barb King at this point. Heal spell comes down on the bottom group that's working on the wizard tower there. Uh, the bottom group of hogs, that is. And some more surgical hogs coming in on the defenses around the top. Hogs go in and trip the DGB there. And he's running a little bit low on hogs at this point. But he's got his queen ability and the base is pretty much done um, to... One mortar left, his king's still up, and it's some Valkyries, uh, so he will be fine. Has his queen ability, like I did say, and here he goes. Queen walks back around, looks like she's going to pick up the defending Barb King, and that will be it for this raid. We'll four times this one as he finishes up with the cleanup, and this raid ends for a nice three-star from Poppycock. And lastly, we have Thor taking out their number 17 with a stoned hobo. Thor's first spotlight on the channel. Uh, nice job, bud. Finally got back into the game, and he's uh, he's starting to kill it in Clan Wars on these lower weight Town Hall 9s, absolutely smashing them with his uh, low weight heroes, 12, 13. But you can see a nice funnel coming in on the left there, starting it off with the minions, uh, followed by the wall breakers early due to the lack of um, funneling needed up at the top. Wall breakers are going to open multiple compartments there, which is... Not the ideal, but you can see a uh, little bit of delay here. Not sure if he he was thinking, but I don't know. CC, there goes bowlers. Almost looked like he timed out for a little bit there. But uh, his bowlers come in, his king goes in, and the CC dragon looks like it's going to die to a poison that was on the, uh, as it was locked onto the golem rage spell. Uh, the, on the bowlers, king and golems are forced into the core now. And they're absolutely going to rip up this uh, center of the base. King's going to charge uh, Rage up here, it looks like. Or he misses it. Okay, misses the King ability. And on the right side and the bottom, he's just collapsing hogs onto this base. 
uh, just overwhelming all the remaining defenses. Bomb pops on the right, and he gets that healed down nicely, uh, just in time. And on the left, he also gets his healed down. All the hogs are in the core at this point, supporting those bowlers. And you can see, just absolutely smashed this base. Everything was focused on the kill squad in the core. Oh, DGB! <laughs> Everything was focused on the co uh, kill squad in the core, and he just overwhelmed it from the uh, bottom in a U fashion with his hogs. Great job to Thor. Um, Looks like he has all his bowlers up and about all of his hogs as well. Maybe lost two hogs there. His queen's still up. Awesome job to Thor. Keep up the good work. And, uh, great attack. Alright, that has been the last raid for this recap. I hope you guys did enjoy. Once again, uh, Fight Club versus Porcelain Kings. 57-47 to 47 was the final. This has been Cree bringing you guys another war recap. And I'm signing off. Peace.